Hey guys, it's Paul, combat veteran, MMA fighter, YouTuber, and today we are checking out another Russian Badger video. This is getting choke slammed for money. Payday 2. But before we get started, of course, be sure to check out the merch store. I have new merch in, and if there's something you want, one of the designs on, uh, you know, something else that Teespring sells that I don't have, feel free, let me know. I'm happy to do it up. And be sure to check it out. We have a Discord now. Link is down in the description, and it is a lot of fun. It gets weird. TF2 memes, cursed images, games, uh, video suggestions, you name it, we've got it. So, let's get into it. Out or keeping it quiet. Actually, don't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> I love how it's like civilian kill deducting 32,000 in cleaner costs. I need a medic man. Hard contact! Hard as ever! Dead be the McGriddle! The McGriddle? Is that, is that a euphemism for something? Oh, that was gonna hurt! Okay, I'm here! Who wants to die? Welcome to Payday 2, a game from 2013 that I ignored for seven years because I'm a brain-dead moron. I know, I know, I'm late. But it is simply too good to ignore, and I'm the guy that needs to tell you about it. So People love Payday 2, man. It's got a cult following. The words of the cloaker... Better late than never! And the reason I say that is as a recent Payday 2 rookie myself, I was bombarded with all these words and concepts and shit that I didn't understand, like a seven-year flood was drowning me slowly. There's so... Oh my god, that's the worst part about getting into a really old game, Team Fortress 2, where there's this, like a huge lingo and everything is shorthanded and... It, you just don't know any of it, right? And the levels of meta, like, there's been, like, 15 meta iterations, and you're showing up on, like, the 16th iteration, and it's, like, back to iteration 7, but you don't know. Anyway, it's weird and annoying. So many words. But shout out to these sick masks. I'm loving the dude with the... Looks like... I don't know what that mask is. But also how one of their disguises is just a Groucho Marx. What's being said right now that I don't understand? When Dodge Crib build Infamy 25 level 100 been playing the game since day one. Literally sucked off Almir Listo. Please let me in. <laughs> Which is why I'm going to burn all the excessive details and show you Payday 2 through my eyes. As a casual shitter that's never gone stealth, never gone above overkill difficulty, and should probably be banned from the game. <laughs> Listen. The games depend on casuals, right? You don't see me doing any of those super hard Team Fortress 2 challenges. I mean, I have a grand total, I think, of 17 hours in game. We're criminals, my ass! Babe, oh my god! Dang it, I'm in Minecraft! Dang it, I'm in Minecraft! <laughs> <laughs> The Minecraft mask, love it. Two is a game where you steal shit and kill people. Technically, there's some extracurriculars involving methamphetamine, rigged elections, and nuclear weapons, but for the most part, it's theft and murder in the template of guys, the blank. Go get it. Guys, the thermal drill. Go get it. This can range from the pedestrian cracking a small bank vault to steal some cash with the world's biggest piece of shit drill. Keep drilling, you piece of shit. To the money. Listen, uh, if you've ever made DIY. G garage level solutions to things they are either ridiculously effective or they are breaking constantly right the uh lack of qaqc sort of intrinsic to diy solutions to illegal shit is basically part and parcel uh the army instituted when i was deployed something called i think it was uh, the rapid fielding initiative rfi and rfi produced garbage or, or actually that's not true it produced a hit or miss policy some of it was dope like they gave us super high-end hiking boots um but those were literally their development consisted of some contractor walking into rei being like show me your sickest mountaineering boot and they're like oh that's these the guy goes great i'll take one hundred and fifty thousand of them uh you know same with the uh the ipro ballistic rated sunglasses uh a sick innovation and Again, something where they went to Oakley and they're like, will you treat your M-frame uh, sunglass lenses with some anti-ballistic stuff for in exchange for a multi-million dollar government contract? And Oakley was like, okay. So sometimes it's sick, but then sometimes, right, it's just 
garbage. Like, they paid a million dollars for a radio that they just handed it to me. It was like a brick. And I was like, what is this? And they're like, don't lose it. It's worth a million dollars. And I'm like, yeah, but but why? And they're like, it's a radio. And I'm like, I have a radio. What? Well, how is this one better? Will it talk for me or something? And they're just like, nah, I guess it talks to a satellite in space. Well, here's the thing. The satellite in space had to be directly overhead. So if there was like, I don't know, a mountain in the way, which, you know, there's only like a million of those in Afghanistan. You're, it, it was, it, it sucked. It, it sucked as bad as every other radio. Plus, it could be like one frequency to one satellite, right? So if there was someone who was in a worse situation than you, they got to use the satellite frequency. And there's always someone having a worse time than you are in a war. Point is, don't trust rapidly developed or DIY stuff, man. Niacal cooking methamphetamine while under a full-scale assault from the FBI, trying not to mix up ingredients and blow yourself to bits while Donald Trump is milli-rocking and blind-firing a minigun. Oh, fuck all these guys! Oh, you can do that? What the? You're literally- Blind-firing a minigun. That is that is a level of wrist strength that is unprecedented. Really milli-rocking with a minigun when Trump gets in. Remember to vote in the primaries! Not only are you cooking meth during a police assault, you are learning how to cook meth. These heists can be done- Listen, there's only one way to learn fast, and that's to experience some discomfort. Uh, that's- that's- that's not fully true, right? You- you have- the best place to learn a skill initially is under, you know, non-high-stress circumstances. But the best place to get good at it is to put yourself in situations where you're just- past your comfort zone right where you feel some real visceral discomfort uh so i imagine that actually for cooking meth the like final exam right to, to make it to s tier is when you can cook your meth while being shot at by police and quietly which involves stealth timing and the ability to quickly answer pagers after you murder security guards sorry about that i think maybe it's from all the acid i dropped this morning <laughs> just kidding but i'm gonna keep it what kind of 2018 which you crook we don't 2018 damn this, that's like a million years ago in this is this is pre health event don't do that here Bulldog, you want to play let's play let's play because come on i didn't buy a fucking minigun and queue up razor mine just so i could raid the department of justice quietly let's fucking go mm. Mm. got some comments but i'm not gonna make them Measure doesn't have the highest body count for this day. I'm going to be very concerned. <laughs> this ammo doesn't belong to you. Does it matter? Okay, here's how you know this video was made in 2019 and this mission was designed in 2018. It is because it's depicting uh, that, you know, forcibly invading a government building is going to require a large number of uh, armored personnel, uh, high powered weapons, and a decisive battle plan. The last time somebody uh, got unauthorized access to a government building didn't require a lot of effort. I'd be more than happy to give the Department of Justice their bullets back. You're getting it now. All those heists and crime.net are just a bunch of missions where you press F on objectives and try not to get curb stomped by cloakers. See how simple that is? We're smarter, not harder. Speaking of which, it's time to learn who you're up against from the normal difficult- <laughs> I love the billboard strength through morality. Difficulty cannon fodder like security guards, beat cops, and F-tier SWAT teams that exist to scream at you and die. I love how they have the, um, the PLA digital camo. That's a pretty ridiculous camo pattern. I it's like PLA urban. I'm, I guess they just couldn't get authorization to use. Though no one uses that, except for the Marines. They're the only ones who've stuck with their digital pattern. We just stand here! God damn it! So much literally spawn cam to the police out of their car. <laughs> you dropped the wrong vent, fellas. I'm sorry, you just did. To the special enemies you'll experience on higher difficulties, each with their own unique brand of pain. You call this resisting arrest? We call this a difficulty tweak. The cloaker is the perfect place to start. This guy will crawl out of a- He has really, really been fixated on these cloakers. You were great. Somersault through the air and dropkick your ass into a coma. His insults hurt just as much as his baton. Now go to the forums and cry like the little bitch you 
Okay, he has what looks closer to ACU digital pattern. You've noticed that the U.S. military has gone almost entirely away from digital pattern except for the Marine Corps because it's almost universally terrible. Even China, who, innov who created uh, or copied some of the early digital stuff, even they've sort of gone away. They've gotten to a really smoother, more fine, finely pixelated pattern. Name uh, five things that are But the, nothing is more peak like 2012 than being like, ooh, digital camo, it's so hot. But actually, like, it, 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 the, the real world isn't pixelated. So having uniforms that are doesn't really do anything. You know what I mean? Or like that are largely pixelated. Like if your goal was to be camouflaged from like a phone camera, then pixelated camo would be great. But the human eye isn't really a phone camera, so it's not that useful. It's sort of useful. I'll say this, right? There is advantage, right? A lot of, you know, enemies will sometimes, advanced enemies, will use things like drone cameras and um, static cameras to... So, like, being uh, having a pixelated outline would actually sort of help you from, from detection, but... Most of the time, you're not worried about a camera shooting back, right? You're worried about not being detected by an actual human being. Cloaker. Oh my god! Name five things. Uh, ammo bag. Uh, pizza. <laughs> lamps. <laughs> cloaker. Oh, wow, so that are. cloaker doesn't give a fuck that he's on fire. Look at him. This Damn, these guys are like the Sam Fishers of, or of. Payday 2, except they're enemies. Poker just jumped over a fucking Toyota and kicked me in the jaw. Dude, I bought a disposable camera and I turned the flash on and it made the cloaker noise and I actually was scared. Like, for a second. <laughs> <laughs> you want to oh my god! I dumped like two mags into him. What the fuck? Oh, oh my god. god! Oh, cloaker. Fuck, 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 fuck. You be the shit Give me a second. Of a shit. A taser is Walmart great value brand cloaker because he will tie you up with 50,000 volts, but that same shock forces you to blast your weapon at random and no matter how much he yells at you bullets are better than barbs i'm the fucking spark man i wonder if these are real lines these are like so cringy they're perfect for like like the payday 2 universe where like all all law enforcement is like kind of kind of just like cringed and like st robbing people is based you know if anything, that just makes me more dangerous. Then it makes my if you've ever really been tased, it's not a great feeling. It's weird. Deagle shots, indiscriminate. Wait. So you actually have to get tased in mili- Uh, yeah, to, you, to carry a taser, you have to get tased. That's sort of the military's rule. To carry pepper spray, you have to get pepper sprayed. It's, um, it's not a bad system. It's good to know what you're doing to people. Did I hear closer? Oh, no! Fuck you, Taser! Bring your voltage somewhere else! Fuck me, hell! Am I gonna get hurt? Oh, he's oh no, god, he's fuck you, him, Taser. Guys, so. Yes, I got him with it. But even barbs and bullets have a master, the bulldozer, who is exactly what he sounds like. So if you're not- Again, digital pattern camo. It's so janky. Gonna hit him in the faceplate, you may as well not hit him at all. You're up against the wall, and I am the fucking wall! There he is. Make way. Oh, amateur. I don't have the mag size. Fuck you, bulldozer! Make <laughs> way! <laughs> the dozer. Okay, I'm here to tell you that there's very few armor systems that can hold up to a 50 cal. And, or, or larger, right? And that's what a minigun generally is gonna fire. Even a full-sized rifle round, it modern ceramic plates can eat like maybe three or four because remember they 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 resist they don't stop the bullet the way like me punching a door would like the door would like stop my hand right by just like breaking my hand against the door right it's it, it stops it by distributing the kinetic energy of the bullet through hitting extremely brittle tiles there's actually a YouTube video of a guy who DIYs his own ceramic plate out of literal ceramic tiles being epoxied together. And that's because you want the bullet to connect with the tile and then the kinetic energy, you can watch it disperse as it shatters the tile. And then once the tile has dispersed that energy, layers of Kevlar then catch the rounds because they're, catch the uh, shrapnel because it's moving so much slower. Because instead of being one bullet with all the kinetic energy, the kinetic energy is scattered among, let's say, 50 different bullet fragments and a bunch of different, 
tile fragments. But the problem is you can only shatter a tile so much before you run out of tile to shatter, right? And when that happens, and it happens pretty quickly on a full rifle round, because it might pass through two or three layers of ceramic, right, each round, you've got like three or four, and then you're your ceramic plate's worthless. It's just going to pen right through. So the point is, is that it's fun to have these like armored enemies absorb like 50 rounds, but even those like highly armored enemies in real life are going to have like, eat like three full-size rifle rounds. Even those bomb suits, they're not bulletproof. They're just insulated from explosions and they're less likely to have, they're going to be able to absorb a lot of like, the the fragmentation right they're going to not let fragmentation pen anywhere penetrate anywhere but the hurt locker got one thing right which is if you're close enough to a large enough explosion it doesn't matter because the the thing that hurts you is the kinetic force of that explosion so all this to say is that you know in video games it's fun to be like oh the enemies are armored they can they my 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 ar rounds won't work nah dog nah just like Tarkov, Tarkov's terrible about this too, where like if you have the wrong kind of ammo, guess what? The right kind of ammo is the ammo that you shoot when you're really close, right? It's got all the kinetic energy it needs to pop right through somebody. Oh, dozer. Make me! Oh, no! Oh, oh that's perfect right timing, Chad. Did you hear that? God, I love the clanging sound when you hit him in the helmet. I have the key card, by the way. What? The fuck? There's no way that a bulldozer can climb up a wall. Shields and magic. Oh yeah, and they're magic. Medics aren't nearly as scary as they are in. Love how their their symbol on the shield just says zeal, something oppresso. <laughs> nice. Annoying with mag dumping juiced enemies and acrobatic shield surfing being a virtual requirement while they're around. I'm here and I brought drugs. All right, I've had enough of your shit. I'm gonna flame surf you. Into the fire and flames. Oh, that works. What the fuck, you asshole? Damn, that's a weird mechanic. Uh, there we go. I took his knees out. Come on, come on. Oh, you chose the wrong career, asshole. <laughs> Snipers can dink the shit out of you with devastating long range shots, but I'm gonna subtract 10 points for obvious lasers and 10 more for lacking self awareness. Yeah, also, here's the thing bullets travel in an arc, and lasers are straight. And so the further you are away from a sniper, the less effective a laser gets, right? So in like room clearing, a laser mount to your weapon is great because one, you only have to like ballpark it, right? You only have to aim kind of right. Like if the laser's here and the round hits here in room clearing, not a big deal, but it's a huge deal if you have a situation where you're you know, 300, or even, even I'm going to say 50 meters away. Because at that point, right, the bullet's going to travel in that arc, and the laser's going to be straight. So the bullet will only cross the laser twice at most. Even less if you've got the laser, like, mounted on top or on the side. It's possible that the bullet will never cross the laser's path. So using a laser to assist your aims silly and pointless but i get it games again need a way to tell you that you're being aimed at by a sniper and a bullet sort of or a, a laser sort of feels like that's the case literally hundreds of cops are dead sniper gets a kill yep that's seven yeah. <laughs> <laughs> literally killed hundreds of police officers and then you hear bolt action sniper rifle ring out on the radio that's number six <laughs> it's like there are unique units from time to time like captain winners and his bulletproof shield failings too bad nobody ever told him the difference between bulletproof and blast proof there the payday gang oh what is happening <laughs> also i want to point out that throwing grenades and then standing looking at them like from like five meters away is extremely extremely recklessly dangerous again fragmentation from fragmentation grenades can cover some ground and they won't move as fast as a bullet but against a squishy body it doesn't make a difference you're still going to get torn to pieces and again the concussive force of the grenade generates a, a, a smaller lethal area in which just like just like it's like a car crash right a car crash doesn't have dangerous little fragments everywhere necessarily right but the concussive force of just being hit, of being like whiplashed, can can kill you.
I'm just Fuck seeing it. shields move around. And keep in mind, there is variety within these units depending on your difficulty, like the regular bulldozer, the skull dozer, and the zeal dozer. Oh god, the zeal dozer. I'd rather have syphilis. I'm gonna drop on these shitheads like a fucking piano! But even SWAT, cloakers, tasers, dozers, shields, medics, snipers, and captain motherfucking winners ain't got shit on civilians. These suckers are nightmares because they're so useful yet so fragile at the same time. Useful because holding them hostage can slow down the enemy assault, SWAT doesn't want to bust in all ham-fisted and accidentally bulldoze some innocent civilians. Uh, American SWAT doesn't. Russian, Russian Spetsnaz have their own ideas. And so they move slower, giving you much needed breathing room. As long as they have hostages, we're going to be delayed on assault. Fuck! Even more useful due to a mechanic called custody. If you're down too many times without a medic bag, or you bleed out because everyone is ignoring you to fix the goddamn piece of shit thermal drill. This drill is a joke! You'll be taken into custody as if you were arrested. But if you have a hostage, your buddies can trade them for you like a get out of jail free card. Don't ask me why the cops think trading a single civilian is worth letting a psychotic mass murder back into the fight, <laughs> I don't have an answer for you. The maniac has a fucking saw! Useful, like I was saying, but fragile, like I was saying, because their behavior is random as fuck. You- <laughs> Okay. Well, let's let him finish his point, then we'll talk about what people do in a bad situation. You lose money if you kill them due to cleaning costs, and any slight misclick usually results in a dead civilian. Do we fail water. if we shoot civilians? You lose money, but feel free to gun them down. I mean- ah! Oh shit, that was a misclick! I did, not, I did not know that if you press three, he automatically throws it. I thought he would just take oh. it out, not throw it into a civilian's mouth. God. That was such oh, a no. misclick. Oh, oh my god. Okay, so here's the thing, right? We assume that people are in a, in a, in a bad situation, right? People are mm, pretty dumb, right? At baseline. The baseline person is pretty dumb, right? Think about driving your car. Right? In a, if you pass 100 cars, I'm going to say you're going to witness at least 10 of them do something that just reflects almost no cognitive behavior, right? They're either like decided that they need to operate a vehicle while also texting their mom or picking the perfect Instagram filter, right? So most people can't really make a decision anyway, or a large subset of people really just can't make a decision on their own. Then you add in the adrenaline dump right a guy with a gun shows up and again most people have never been around a rifle right let alone seen an angry person with them so the level of terror and the level of adrenaline surging through their veins is going to be huge and people generally have three responses we used to believe there was two now we know that there's a third fight flight and freeze right fight is usually well the most effective in situations where someone has a firearm is going to be flight run vacate yourself from the premises as fast as humanly possible right fight is usually a bad idea unless you too have a firearm right and even then even then if you're a civilian it's not a great call right i had actually a, a, a it's a friend of my father's was uh, had a concealed carry permit and was in a bank in a major city that was robbed and bank robber showed up had guns took a bunch of money left cop showed up and the guy disclosed he's like hey i got a firearm and the cops are like so did you ever think about like shooting the guy and the guy's like no one's life was in danger these guys showed up they wanted money the bank teller gave them money if i thought there was going to be an escalation if i thought there was uh, if they were like taken hostages or they were thought that another person was in danger, then I would have considered pulling out my firearm and, and, and defending myself. But again, it's like not every situation. And, and look, at the end of the day, the bank got their money back. The guys were caught. No one got hurt or killed. So dude probably made the right call. All this to say that you got flight, fight, and then you have freeze. Some people just freeze in a bad situation. And it's not the worst call in the world. Making yourself small and invisible is, is not a terrible way to deal with things, right? Um, this is usually good when you want to be like a, like a bystander to a threat that doesn't involve you. Uh, maybe like a police chase or a fight involving two other people. Even then, you see two people fighting, guess what? The smart thing is to 
get the hell out of there. Fights only go, you know, fights only go south, right? So all this to say is that being like, oh, civilians do dumb stuff. The fact that more video games don't have civilians being really dumb, right, is pretty astounding. Not all of them. The average person, when they hear gunshots, will take out and run full tilt as far away as possible. But a minority of people will do something stupid. Oh, shit! <laughs> like that woman, right? Her response was freeze, and it obviously was the wrong one because this is a video game involving Russian Badger. Kill anybody if I just hit the disco ball? <laughs> Yeah, that's like you can take SWAT members as hostages too, which can't hurt. Ask any lawyer you want. There's no such thing as too much leverage. All right, I'm gonna trade you in. Oh yes, yes. Have him yeah. surrender and then light him on fire. Yeah, hey, I, 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 can I see this guy's eyeballs? Oh, I think I can. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck you! Stop looking at my hostage. But I'm fucking up now. I told you I would burn the tedious details. So enough about the bad guys who are actually the good guys. But Let's talk about the clowns. I mean, let's talk about you. Fight the pain! Fight the clowns! You can be encapsulated in this one screen right here in Oh my god, more furries. Ugh. Why? Why so many furries? What is it with them? Inventory. From who you are, to what you're packing, to what skills you bring to the table. Don't worry if it looks complicated, because I'll compress this shit for you in no time. <laughs> Congratulations, you've ruined it. The character you choose has no impact on gameplay. You've got 20-some to choose from, and just so you can put names to faces, or masks, Dallas is by far the most recognizable. Ah, I need a medic back. <laughs> he just bonked him. Ah, I'm done. Chains is the black guy that's legally considered a pickle in 14 states. On the goddamn ground! I turn myself into a pickle, Dale. Hoxton, not to be confused with Houston, is definitely Hoxton and in no way Houston. You got it? Don't act dumb. Wolf is the token foreigner with zero patience. Imagine unironically being European. What the f- <laughs> Yes, indeed. Indeed. Wait, isn't his name Russian Badger? Isn't he- Though the Russians be like, I'm Eurasian. Like, okay, guys. Fucking door open! And the last of the payday gang, Bane. He doesn't have time to be a clown because he's too busy managing the entire circus. That's the alarm. Time to do some heavy lifting. Your mask has no impact on gameplay, but god damn it, is it ever important. Masks are at least 74.3% of the fun in payday 2, and at least. Mine are so bad, I'm basically an enemy of mankind at large. Just ex. I don't know, there's some enemies of mankind that have some sick masks. Love to see a, I don't know, like a, like a Chaos God mask, you know, a corn mask would be sick. Uh, maybe a, an orc mask, that'd be pretty sick. It's a cute me already. You're gonna get the chair, for sure. I'm gonna confuse you for a cloaker and shoot you in the face. <laughs> I can already tell. Okay, okay no, that's good. That <laughs> okay, that's a pretty awesome mask. That's good. That mask He's is literally prime that. society. God damn it. The Doge. Yes. Shouting out Dogecoin. The so dogs. The dogs. Your posture is just edgy. Like, if you put the word yeah. society in Comic Sans over you. Joker Obama, bro. It's <laughs> Joe Bob. Joker Obama. What's your. I love Hannibal Lecter. Joe Obama. Uh, we gotta burn down Gotham. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Who's Joe? Joe Obama. It's about sending a message. Shut <laughs> up. Uh, put the money in the bag. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Put the money in the uh in the back. <laughs> My God, I would pay. I would pay to hear. It. Actual former President Barack Obama just read iconic Joker lines. <laughs> Spell mm. God, that's so fucking <laughs> hyper realistic orangutan. Yeah, please don't punch any kids in the face. Are you a burnt baby, Mickey? You have ruined the it mask. Looks so bad. I am Mitch McConnell. <laughs> <laughs> Feed me poor people. <laughs> you may not like it, but this is peak male performance right here. This is peak doge. Peak doge performance. I mean, when you're a doge made out of money. You can't make fun of me for being a walking sh- Did dogecoin crash? Did that get rug pulled already? I feel like... 
I feel like no one's tweeted about it long enough that the hype is done. Shit post. This whole game is an elaborate shit post. Just look at the Payday 2 Twitter account. Why'd you have to do them like that, man? All of right in the kiss or hot darn. Are you winning, heisters? Armor is where we get into shit that does affect the game, and I'll keep it simple. Walking into a bank in a two-piece suit, aka zero armor. Good news, high speed, low drag. You're fast and your detection risk is very low. Because, you know, walking into a bank with a suit on is perfectly normal and not sus- Not nowadays. Suspicious at all. Bad news, shit hits the fan and you have no Kevlar whatsoever and meatbag human beings are notorious for their lacking bullet res- mm, yeah, yeah. Human beings are even more easy to kill than video games depict. You can get shot literally anywhere and die. Like literally anywhere. You can get shot in the hand and die. There's a lot of blood, man. I mean, but this makes sense, right? Human beings don't have a lot of extra material on them. Full stop. The fat ones kind of do, but 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 even that, right? It's only it's always adjacent to to important parts. And what the, the fuck are you doing, Mickey? Do you know what friction I'm is? Bad. I am speed. I am speed. Walking into a bank with maximum arm. Good news, you're an 800 pound gorilla in an iron. Oh, oh, weird. Okay, it's like it's it's like a DIY IBA interceptor body armor. So it's. He's got Kevlar on the sides. He's got Kevlar on the forearms, which is something. So when we would, so basically what we would do, we would let our ground pounders, our our, our dismounted troops, um, which is basically everyone who wasn't a gunner, um, they would wear like a light version of that. So like, you know, it wasn't quite a plate carrier, but it had the four plates, um, chest, back, and two side plates. Um, but the rest was kind of Kevlar, right? But it would just be torso. Um, that's because if you get hit in a limb, it's easiest to control bleeding, right? You just tourniquet the limb and you're done. Torso wounds are way tougher to deal with. Um, but if you were a gunner, because it was so high risk, right? Because you were exposed on the top of your vehicle, what you would, what they would do is they would wear these extra shoulder pads, kind of like what he's got on. Um, they would also be required to wear large ballistic goggles, um, and would have to see the neck protector coming out like that they would have to wear that as well the neck protector is actually pretty important because when rounds hit they spall they like hit the plate and then they'll scatter like we talked about up and down and what you don't want is to have a lethal fragment hit your plate and then spall right up into your jaw and into your brain right that's an easy way to get uh killed <laughs> Man suit. You eat RPGs for breakfast and are sometimes mistaken for an M1A2 Abrams. Bad news, you are suspicious as fuck and slow as fuck because unlike a two-piece suit, normal people don't get kitted out in 100 pounds of body armor or just to deposit a check or take out a loan. So kiss- Hmm. Times are changing though. Stealth goodbye and be prepared to have your cover blown in two seconds. God, you are so fucking slow. Yeah, run slow boy, run. Oh yeah, I have no bullets. I should probably go back inside. I'll see you fellas later. Oh God, that's not an inside way. Thank God I'm an 800 pound gorilla. I don't know how I would survive this otherwise. Damn, I run like a complete fucking idiot. And choosing speed versus armor is usually dictated by the build you're running with a combination of skills and perks. Don't freak out, I'm not gonna make it complicated. It's already, I'm already freaking out. And I'm not gonna crush you with terminology here. I know you've been playing Payday for two hours, but if you don't have the stone perk deck maxed out right now. Skills and perks are just ways of making your character better at certain things. Period. The end. That's it. Not so scary, right? Now, when people yell the words blank build at you, they're just telling mm. you what their character is really good at, with the two prevailing builds being tank build and dodge build. Tank build <laughs> is super simple, and it's what I run. Most of my skill points are spent maxing out armor and ammo, so I can be a walking block of tungsten with more bullets than God and bulldoze the bulldoze. I don't think tungsten stops bullets. I think they have tungsten, they put it in bullets sometimes. Fuck you, bulldozer. <laughs> I'm not moving. I'll reload right in front of your face, boy. <laughs> oh, man. I love how he just absorbs round after round, and then when he gets killed, he 
ragdoll physics like off his feet and tumbles you know exactly like a real human does skill points become more abundant as you level up and can be allocated in any way you want you could put points in every tree to make yourself a jack of all trades or blow it all in one tree to make yourself a one trick pony perks don't give you that freedom because you have to choose just one tree and i went with muscle maxed out to give me shit tons of health and figuratively make me into an 800 pound gorilla oh my god i'm now an 800 pound gorilla you have roughly four times as much hp as me he knows that I'm an 800 pound gorilla and all of his skills are useless. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Ridiculous. Keep in mind that the skills and perks you choose can either be straightforward, like, hey, I'm running Iron Man, which makes me kind of slow and basically immortal. Why is everyone so fast? Because I'm running Ultra Iron Man build and I'm basically made out of tungsten. Or they can be just absurd, like Bullet Storm in the Ammo Tree that gives anyone a bottomless magazine for 15 seconds after resupplying from one of my ammo bags. Okay, okay, I want to do the RPG trick. Okay, okay, let's do it. Yes. Yes, King. Whoever wants some can get some right now. Again, as we talked about, explosions near you, super dangerous. Uh, okay, RPGs, I think, have a minimum arm distance, and it's so, like, RPGs indoors just aren't a thing. No, no, I'm wrong. I am wrong. RPGs can be set off. They have a safety cap, and if you remove it, you can set them off by hitting them on a door. Right now! Yes! They Unlimited power! Oh, Unlimited power! What the fuck is this? Nice grouse. Be hopping and launching him. Oh my god. <laughs> Tumors in 2035. <laughs> I watch these guys just spawn dead. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's too powerful. Just gonna point out if you really did that, one, you'd be deaf, two, you would be so badly concussed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I ran out. <laughs> you know what the best part about that whole thing was, Badger? Is that that was one M203. It was a single M203 oh that did God. all of that. And on the topic of absurd, let's talk about those dodge builds you always hear about. Oh, I thought it was going to be doge builds. Damn it. What do you mean you're not running a full dodge crew with three concealment? <laughs> Dodge is a hilarious mechanic that gives you a percentage chance to not take damage when you're shot. Just imagine a dozer pulls up and shoots you in the chest, but instead of you immediately taking damage, there's a split second roll of the dice that occurs to determine whether that shot is a hit or a miss. And players with jacked dodge stats have a very high chance that bullets are gonna miss and do no damage. <laughs> Just Matrix, alright. It's like training yourself to catch bullets, you know? Like some sort of fake martial artist, like, oh, if I channel my chi, I can just catch the bullet. Almost as if they dodged a bullet. Again, it's literally just a percentage chance to not take damage when shot, but visualizing it this way makes a whole lot more sense in my brain. Hey, Gross. Yeah. If you're not running dodge, what do you usually run for, like, dodge? When I'm not running oh, dodge. dodge, I usually run dodge. Do you Different like gambling? Dodge. Yes. Do you like gambling with your life? All the yeah. time. Listen, let's be honest here. If you're a degenerate gambler, you're always gambling with your life. Yes. All yes. the goddamn... Right, I'm thinking about all those crypto memes where some doomer is like never more than one big margin trade away from living out of a cardboard box. Yeah, every every gambles with your life, bro. Yes! As far as I'm concerned, dodge builds are the wizard lizards of Payday 2. They neo their way around entire levels at the speed of light, tiptoeing around thousands of rounds with zero body armor or concern that they're gambling with their lives. The wife told me it was either her or the dodge build. God, I miss her. <laughs> <laughs> I may have 60% chance to dodge bullets, but not 60% chance to dodge alimony. <laughs> well, I mean, look. Crypto gambler. <laughs> Broke. <laughs> you, you, you go all in on Dogecoin. Elon Musk doesn't tweet about it. You're donezo. No alimony to distribute. That's a 100% hit rate. <laughs> and some of the additional skills and perks people spec in dodge builds are just as hilarious, like Second Wind, which jacks up your movement speed when your armor breaks, so sometimes setting yourself on fire is a good idea. Grenade! I don't feel too- <laughs> <laughs> Bro, 
us the two words that I heard were grenade. I don't feel too good. <laughs> and you just it down. That's not impressive. How about Kickstarter, where meleeing a broken drill or saw gives it a 50% chance of just fixing itself? Let me show you Zoomers how we did it in the 90s. Cash money! Come on, come on. That's pretty great. Come on, come on. Ooh! Somebody stop me! No? Well, how about a 23 round M1 Garand? If that isn't some of the coolest shit you've ever heard, please close this video. That's just an M14 with an extended mag. They already make it. Theo. Someone say Garand. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Everybody in this Discord just have a, a one yes. grand. And don't even get me started on Inspire and Swan Song. Those are just ridiculous. But you get it now. There's Maximum Chonk, Maximum Dodge, and everything in between. Let's pick a fucking loadout already. Equipment comes first with supporting items like ammo bags, medic bags, first aid kits, all the shit that's really useful when you're in a pinch. Do you even know how fucked you are? Oh my god, shut up. Please. You shut the fuck up and trying to enjoy payday. And I tell you what, the weapon arsenal in this game is so vast and so We're channeling Hank Hill. So varied it rivals literally any game I've ever played. No, oh, hundreds of weapons. Okay. Oh, he does get set on fire. We got new shit. We got old shit. We got powerful shit. We got dummy shit. We got shit that explodes. Shit that sets on fire. If you can't find a weapon you love in Payday 2, I'm gonna need you to move your ass to another planet. No cap. Listen, if I'm at a bank and somebody robs it with a flamethrower, I'm giving them my money. You wanna tear through an... Yeah, they deserve it, man. Their commitment just outweighs mine. Entire police force and style go akimbo, whether that's Glocks, Deagles, or 45 long slides without the custom laser sight. I don't see Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna point this out. You need a free hand to, to, to aim properly and to reload. So every time somebody's like, oh, but you dual wield guns, that's why all every time that you dual wield the reload mechanic is like whoop. Oh, new magazines! Oh, how did it happen? The answer is, it's impossible for it to happen without you putting the guns down, taking out the magazines, right? Picking them back up. it takes take forever. See why all the Payday 2 veterans are hating on the Akimbo Glock 18s with RPG secondary build. I don't see the issue with this build. Hurry up. Oh! God, the deagles are just deadly. Yeah, <laughs> Two deagle fuck. I love how... It, 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 that every game is like, the Deagle's the most powerful. The only one who gets it right is Tarkov, where they're like, no, 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 the FN 5.7 is the most powerful. And it is. It's like a little baby assault rifle round just just coming out of a pistol. Yeah. Yeah. Are you running a Kimbo Nike? I'm running 45 long slides without the laser sighting, you cash. No shortage of explosives with RP. As discussed, laser sighting, not that helpful. G's, Commando rocket launchers, and China puffs if bullets just don't hit hard enough. Bulldozer, you know what that means. Oh, that's so, 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 she'd be so dead. So true, Herpender. Imagine being a police veteran that's two months away from retirement and you go to one final dispatch and some shitter wearing a fucking doge mask directing back to with an RPG. I mean, you're gonna kill everybody in the room with a back blast anyways. The ACOG on the RPG. Fuck it, it's half. Okay, if you guys have never seen Nine Hole Reviews, they take an AK-74 and they mount an RPG sight on it. And it works. They actually knock back targets up to like 400 meters with the thing. It is wild and awesome. And then I just turn you off. That's the reticle. I just, I just go, boop. Excuse me, sir. Your free butthole. trial of life has expired. Oh, oh shit. I didn't one think guy I would him. connect. Yeah. I didn't think the RPG was gonna kill anybody. The wor worst defense ever. Oh my word! <laughs> my no, it's mine. Oh, the hang time. Fuck around yeah, and really. find out. <laughs> uh, I wish a gamer would. <laughs> Protection <laughs> risk. <laughs> Just pulled out the rocket launcher. Yeah. The oh, United <laughs> Bank of Money. You probably should have brought a secondary that uses bullets. Never in a million years, fuck you, bitch. Here's what's funny, is in the time since Payday has come out, robbing a bank with a gun is like passe. Now you just steal a Bitcoin or something. But actually, like, the, the, the percentage of success on running, uh, uh, like, call scammer hacking schemes, fake romance scams, um, 
or just good old fashioned fraud. If you want to know the, the most successful bank robbery in history, it's called 1MDB. Somebody took Malaysia's entire development fund and just ghosted with it, just vanished. They found like uh, like maybe an eighth of it was traceable and the rest just poof. That's the GDP of like a country they just dipped with. Whoever did it is sick and they can't find the guy, right? They think they have like maybe like a sort of a low-level associate or like a mid-level associate, but wild, wild bank robbery. And obviously it's done by some, you know, overweight bureaucrat who's now got a super yacht somewhere, right? No RPG required. Dang. But I bet, I mean, I guess he could have worn a dog, dog mask while he did it, you know? I, I wear, I have all sorts of goofy masks I wear when I stream. <laughs> Everything has trade-offs, like a minigun may be crazy powerful, but your detection rating is gonna suck because you can't concealed carry some shit that big. You'll burn through your ammo with it and sometimes be forced to rely on melee. A concealment of two? How do I get that to zero? My man got a detection risk of 75. Literally, Max. Give me your shit. bullets, you fuck. I Give me I your I bullets. God damn it. Are you really gonna make, make me take them from you? You fuck. I hate you. God damn it. Melee and throwables are yet another the rabbit hole. Do you want to light someone on fire with a molly or throw a javelin into their neck? Do you want to smack someone in the face with bolt cutters or beat the shit out of them with a literal wad of cash? You get what I mean. Badger, I dig the attempt of trying to bring a dozer down with a hockey stick. Yeah. <laughs> I hit him once and I was like, wait, <laughs> the goon stick. <laughs> Weapon attachments and customization add another layer of complexity, but I won't complicate things. Just like skills and perks, you spend these things called continental coins to make your weapons better. Oh my, grouse the reload on this. Because you oh, have shit. the speed pull mag, bro. Fuck you, bulldozer. No matter what. Okay, just gonna point out, Soviet manual of arms does not say tilt and reload, right? It says, keep it in its position, keep the AK in its good firing position, right? In my case, it's gonna, or, uh, I'm a lefty, lefty, so this all is, makes perfect sense for me. Keep it in its position, reach up and around, chamber it, right? So the weapon's always ready to fire, right? Why, why, why break your good firing position? What weapon you choose, you're welcome to make it as standard or disgusting as your heart desires thanks to customization. The Thanos 50 cal is a prime example. Oh, I can make it even stubbier. Oh, Kraus, fuck off. Why? Where is the oh, barrel going to fly into to compensate for the <laughs> recoil when you fire it? Into my game. You're going to... What the fuck you think? <laughs> to the ATF, that is a pistol. That's it a life sentence to the ATF. <laughs> your dog is ATF, dead. That's not a stock. That is a brace. <laughs> Bloop, how dare you. My hip fires are this good now. My hip fires are this good now. Look at me, I'm paying oh, okay. payday like an actual hey, human being. Need, yeah. But I'm getting too complicated again. Just pick something you like that synergizes with your loadout. Like my setup of an 800 pound gorilla in a mech suit carrying a snub nose minigun I call the Weed Whacker <laughs> of using the bullet storm skill for literally 60 seconds of a bottomless magazine. Oh God, imagine this shit walked into your bank. Time for the unlimited bullets meme. Running, running. Running. It's like a memory leaked MP3 of a minigun. <laughs> it hasn't stopped yet. It hasn't stopped. Those bullets are going everywhere. <laughs> when you kill someone, does it refresh? No, I think the game's just fucking <laughs> I got an achievement for 25 straight seconds of minigun fire, so. <laughs> and that about covers it. Keep in mind that there are some things you'll have no problem learning or getting used to on your own, like bugs you'll encounter. That's the one. Oh, he got stuck. My boy is morphing into a different dimension. I can fire an invisible RPG. What the fuck? Oh my. Did you guys see his neck? He went like nope.avi for like a second there. You're in a dumpster. Why? Why? Explain. I'm in a wheelchair. I'm gonna give you. Chat, what the fuck? What did I just see? That dude just ascended. That dude just, just achieved enlightenment right there. In that moment, as that AK-wielding man turned around the corner ready to end him, in that moment, he achieved full enlightenment and ascended directly to the Buddha. Buddha? 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 <laughs> <laughs>
I need to take a lap. I'm, I'm literally gonna take a lap. <laughs> Old Toaster literally said fuck work and just went home. <laughs> he was like, I'm done. I'm going home. I'm <laughs> going to go. to his home. My dozers need me. <laughs> Dozer said it's time to clock out. Exactly, Wolf, when it's 4.59. <laughs> Is that dozer? Oh no, booty blast. When the teacher says the bell doesn't <laughs> dismiss you, I do. <laughs> oh shit! But I think you're finally ready to start pressing F on shit, murdering thousands of cops, and bumping the legendary soundtrack. Go to soundtrack and set same as host, because Heavenly wanted to hear Don't Act Dumb. <laughs> People love the Payday 2 soundtrack. Love it. I love Razor Mind, I love Backstab, but above all else, I love Random. There's just something different about getting a banger of a song by chance, especially if that banger is I will give you my all while blasting people off of a high rise. It's, 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 it's okay, you can get off the building. We don't need you up here. This is a neat map. Oh, what the fuck is that? What was that? This is an acrobatic show? Hell oh, down for oh, there. I'll dynamite your asses off the roof. Yeah, get oh, off the roof. Oh. Get off the roof. You're so right, Roof D. The poor people just driving down the road around this building. <laughs> that must be straight torture. And in case you were curious, you can in fact play it in VR. As if this shit really needed more That would be a little too close to murder simulator. Features. That might like alter your brain permanently. What the fuck, man? You're one-handing it? Why? <laughs> Why? There will come a day for mercy. <laughs> Today is not that day. <laughs> oh my god, the glowing eyes parody Donald Trump. Holy it shit. Gets the fire. A mini gun. Oh no. This is a war crime. This is a war crime. <laughs> I will not let you do this. Sorry, I'm sorry. VR playing VR in the game while playing VR. This is this is this is Inception. This is it. This is Digital Inception. We're here right now. Right. I'll stop. I'll stop. I mean, the Cracker Barrel is the Firelink Shrine for white people. When you die, <laughs> that's where you respawn. <laughs> and that's about it. That's all I got to say. Please buy some gamer subs. Holy shit, man! It bulldozes your thirst, and it is the uh, greatest powder ever to be mixed with water. Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll let him. We'll let him. We'll let him promo his thing, man. We. Other commenters pointed out it's correct. Water. Or so. He deserves to promo his video because he makes good content. You should you should check it out. I always include the link in the description. Come on Twitch or do something. I gotta make money on this video somehow, and YouTube sure as shit isn't gonna monetize me getting show slammed by cloakers for 20 minutes. I'd like to thank you so very much for watching, and be sure to tune in next time. With, you know what? <laughs>